Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can remove stratified folds from your data set. In one of my tutorials before I have shown you that how you can remove folds from your data set but those folds were not stratified. So stratification means that the distribution of the class labels in your data set uh, they should be maintained in each of your folds you are going to create. So here, for example, the yes, uh, the number of yes uh, instances in my data set here is about 372 and number of no instances are about 6500. So you can see, you can easily count the ratios of yes to no there. And if I calculate them here right now, you can see that I have 6,449 yeses, sorry, no's, and 372 uh, yeses. Then the ratio here is about 17. So the ratio of no to yes is 17. So when you're going to make, uh, when you're going to set up a stratified k fold cross validation, each of your k folds uh, should have instances where the ratio is kept just like this around 17 16.9 can be 17.5 that is also a valid ratio of no to yes because it's around 17.33 it's not exactly 17.33 so that's uh that's what what i what we call stratification so how you can do that how are you going to remove the folds from your data set in a stratification manner so in order to do that, we go to Weka filters and supervise filters, instance filters, and you can see that there is an option called stratified remove folds. I choose that. And if I click a left click on, on uh, to edit the properties, you can see that here are four options, fold, inverse selection, number of folds, and seed. So we are not going to talk about inverse selection and seed here because you can always take a look at uh, uh, those options from by clicking the more button here I'm not going to talk about them so fold is the fold number you're going to create the default is one that means that uh, in, in these uh, out of these 10 folds you're going to create the first of your folds and if I click OK and uh, click apply you can see that everything has changed so this is my first fold of 10 folds and this first fold contains about 683 instances you can see that if you multiply that by 10 it's going to be around the number of instances in your data set if I go to class then you can see the number of yeses now went down to 38 and number of no went down to 645 so we have our calculator here and we're just trying to get the ratio again to see if it is working really well or not. So 645 no's divided by 38 yeses, it's 16.97 or 17. The ratio is about 17, where the ratio of no to yes in my uh, entire data set was about 17.3. So that's, that's okay. So that's how it works, that these are stratified uh, folds you're going to create and if you want to save it then you can always click on save button and you can rename that uh, uh, R file uh, to anything like full number one uh, full number one and so on so now I'm not going to save that to produce the second fold you're going to left click on this uh, uh, and this filter and you're going to put two there so that's your fold number two you're going to create the fold number two there but to, before doing that, you have to undo that, undo this, and you have to go back to your original data set containing 6,821 instances. You click, left click, and you select two. That's you're going to create the full number two. Click OK, and press apply. You can see that now the number of instances went down to 682, and also the class distribution is almost the same as the class distribution in your original data set. So I hope that helps and I'll be back with more tutorials very soon. Thanks a lot.